Hey all, Arthur here from Metro Hobbies. For those of, of you who didn't make it down to the Showgrounds Model Train Show last weekend, let's go through our Model Train section. So first off, we've actually been doing a little bit of rejigging. So we've done all our HO scale diecast up here. Then we've got a small display track with a couple of figures. We then have all of our N scale, all of our HO scale, and then track packs and uh, HO scale wagons. So first off, what is relatively new is, well, all of these down here. These are the brand new Gopher Models 48 class dash 830 class, depending on the road you've chosen. Uh, to be honest, they're fairly good little units. Uh, I've already picked up one of uh, the Australian National units. Uh, they actually come with small little decals, so you can actually number them up to almost every single uh, running number. Uh, I'm pretty sure the 44, uh, 48s are the Mark 1s, uh, while the uh, uh, 830 class, you can almost do the whole entire fleet. Uh, what's also else is new is the brand new Kato DE10, which will go great if you've done the, the SL Hitoshi set. We also have a Chicago Northwestern commuter set. So it comes with an EMD E8, uh, about six by levels plus a cab car. Uh, we also have, brand, uh, that just came back into stock is the Kato turntable. And on it at the moment is uh, Union Pacific number 4015. We also just got in the Kato lighting sets as well, which are very simple to add in. Now for HO scale, we also have the HO scale. Yes, you heard me that correct. HO scale. DD51, a classic of Japanese uh, trains. Everything from 1950 all the way through to about the 19... Well, up until about a couple of months ago, actually. Uh, and that does also accept an 8-pin decoder. We also got in a restock of the uh, IDRW classes and the XCNJ classes as well. We also now have a fairly decent selection of N-scale buildings. So these are the Kaido ones, very simple to put together. Uh, just require a little bit of glue. They already, some of them also come either pre-done, like these small little uh, buildings like that, to actual proper kits. So with this one, you get a water tower and a couple of sheds. This one, you get a little bit like an industrial complex. You get one which is basically stuff you would find around a station. That one is a single box. And this one is stuff you would find roughly around about the late shower period, so about... 1960 to 1989. Uh, you also can get uh, eight N scale cars as well. So we've got uh, 90s, well, 1990s Nissan cars. We've also got police cars as well and vans. So, and they also do come with a sticker as well. So you can actually have the back signs technically saying something. In the Hornby, we also have more of the TT scale. So now we've now got the class 08. So, and to be honest, they are a nice little unit. Uh, we also now have the rerun uh, advanced passenger train units, both the uh, five and seven cars. Uh, we also now have the Isle of Wight uh, passenger set. So it comes with the Terrier plus three of the small little four wheelers. We also have, and which is probably my favorite part of the whole thing at the moment, is the Hornby Flying Scotsman 100th Anniversary Edition model locomotives. So these are all die cast. Uh, they come with a flicking firebox, basically. They're what you would expect for a $600 locomotive. They are lovely. They also come with a small little metal park as well, showing you the year that your model is. So they've got everything from about 1924, all the way through to about 2018. At the moment, the latest one we've got is 1963 when Ian Pegler bought it. Okay, so that's all we've got time for today. Don't forget to hit the uh, subscribe button. Uh, also remember, check out the links down in the description below if you want to purchase anything, or of course, you can always come in, see one of us, talk to one of us. Uh, enjoy.